Hey guys, I'm sorry about the quality of the video, but I gotta make this video to get some stuff off my chest right now about the election right now. It's November 5th, right? 2019, and Kentucky just had their election, and same goes for every other state out there. Virginia. Alright, I want to touch on the topic of voters' fraud. Alright, how we need to make, how we need to get this situation under control because if we don't get it under control a lot of voters fraud gonna happen right especially with the democratic party you don't know if you don't know right now i'm not a big fan of the democratic party i think they're evil they promote evil they're godless group of people i uh, and i just don't subscribe to their to their um their principle right principle of killing, um, no logic policy, all right, I just think they're evil, all right, their policies are evil, and I, I don't subscribe to the Democratic Party, I'm sorry, all right, but because of that, I want to touch on the subject of voters fraud, all right, I think the Democrat, their policy is so bad, the only way for them to win election is by Manipulating the ballots, cheating, all right, do all these um, unethical practices that make people questions, all right. Places like state, fly over state like Kentucky, you know, Alabama, and all this stuff, right? The red state, which are typically known as red states, somehow, somewhere, they got flipped to blue. All right, these are Bible states. They have very conservative view. And all of a sudden, they turn blue. Don't you guys find a little suspicious about that? Very suspicious. All right, this is why I want to touch on the subject of voters' fraud. All right, when I see this thing, like, there's something that doesn't add up, right? All these red states are turning blue. It doesn't make any sense. All right, I'm sorry. Sorry about the quality of the camera and the the, um, the choppiness but it just doesn't make sense to me red states turning blue and you and as soon as you question how the electro elect, election committee are operated they they're pushing this machine all right I'm a very old-fashioned guy. I like paper ballots. All right? Paper ballots where it's hard to manipulate. These days, they're pushing machine where where it's evident that it could be hacked, manipulated, tampered with. These machines. Do you really want to put our democracy on some machine that we have no control over that it could be hacked? All right? I don't believe that. And the reason why these states are turning blue, these traditionally red states are turning blue, is because they implement new machines, all right? Not only that new machine, they don't even have voters' ID laws, all right? So how do we know who who's voting or what, the, who, who, you know, who they are? Let me tell you a story about my voting process, right, that I find very shocking. I I went to vote last year in the last election. I asked the attendants, "Do you want to see my ID?" She said, "No, it's not necessary." So, I was, and I was adamant here, show my ID, and she was kind of mad for me pushing the ID towards her. Like, and I'm like, "So is that easy to vote?" She all she asked for was my name and my address. That's it. For all she know, I could be anybody. I could vote as my brother, my sister, my mom. I could vote two times, three times. They didn't ask me what my citizenship are. Am I allowed to vote? Am I, am I registered to vote? They didn't. People could just come and vote. They didn't even have to register to vote. All right, and they just let you vote. I could be a legal alien, immigrant, whatever you want to call it, and they'll allow me to vote. I could cast three, four, five ballots at that one time. All right? I could go to another place, use the same information, and cast another ballot. 
It doesn't make sense. Our voting law are, are broken. It's broken. All right? And the Democrats are kicking our butt because of this. We need some kind of voting ID. All right? They're, they're, not only that, these districts, some of these districts are corrupt. This Democrat rural district. Some of the people that work on these districts are corrupt as well. They're primarily Democrats. These volunteers, they're primarily Democrats. All right? They're stuffing ballots. They're shredding ballots. All right? They're throwing away ballots. If they see your registration is a de Republican, they just throw it away. They just won't count it. And that's a big problem. I believe. It's a really big problem. They're shredding ballots. They're throwing ballots. They're throwing off guards. It, it, it primarily happened in Democratic District. And the people who volunteer. Now, I have a question about the people who volunteer to be these, um, who run these polling places. All right? What are their political affiliations? Should they be unbiased? These people who work here, how can we trust the people who work at this polling place? Who are these people who's volunteering at this polling place? Surely they have some kind of political bias. Surely. I don't even trust the people that that take my ballot. Alright? And I'm pretty sure the people who's volunteering at these polling places are predominantly Democrats. We got to have a better method to cast our vote. We got to have a better method. I, I'm not suggesting technology at all. I'm not suggesting technology. And I don't think... I, I just think our... our, our our um, voting practices is broken the way we cast our vote. I don't think we should have a machine to do this stuff. Maybe punch card, but better punch card. We don't want the we, we don't want another Florida happening in two, like 2000. Right? I just don't think so. And I just want to make this video to make people aware that our voting System are broken. People need to wake up. Our, the district are predominantly hosted by Democrats. And Democrats are notoriously known to cheat. All right, They got no morals or ethics. They're killing babies. When you kill babies, when you disrupt a uh, God process, all right, that's evil. All right, When you disrupt life, that's evil. All right? 